I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring derivatives of exponential functions. Let us continue with the question we started with. The question was, fish population in a lake after t months is given by p of t equals to 1000 divided by 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t. Part a, b, c and d were to find the initial population 75% of the maximum population and the rate of change in population after two months. Now here we'll discuss part D, which is when does the population growth rate begin to decline? Now what is the concept here? When does the population growth rate begins to decline? So basically what it means is we'll find the second derivative, right? So decline means first it should be increasing and then decreasing. So when the second derivative starts decreasing, then the population growth rate begins to decline, correct? That is the concept, okay? So in previous video, you saw how to find the derivative of this function. Uh, let me write down that derivative and we'll begin from there. Derivative of this function was simplified to so when you do this, denominator was square of this part, which is 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t whole square. Numerator was uh, derivative of 1000, so minus of 1000 times derivative of this. 1000 times derivative of this is how much? 3 times 0 0.5, which is 1.5. When you multiply 1.5 with 1000, what do you get? You get 1500, right? So the numerator was 1500 e to the power of minus 0.5 t, right? So you can also look into the link for complete details. Now, we know that the derivative is this, as we did in the last video. Now we'll find the second derivative. Second derivative is apply the quotient rule, right? So so quotient rule on this will be, let me draw a long line here since, okay. So the denominator is square of all this, which is one plus three e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t to the power of two means four, right? Okay. Derivative of the first part is 1500 times minus 0 0.5, right? So we can write this as minus 0 0.5 times 1500 times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t that's the derivative times the denominator which is 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t whole square so that is the part one and now we take away write down the numerator which is 1500 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t times the derivative of the denominator that means 2 times all this so we just say 2 times 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t correct times the derivative of inside functions that means 3 times minus 0 0.5 so let me write 3 times minus 0 0.5 correct times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t correct so that becomes the derivative of second derivative of our function now we can actually simplify this a bit so let's try to do that part so what do we get here is let me just draw this line again here and we do have 1 plus e to the power of, I mean 3 times, minus 0 0.5 t to the power of 4, right? Okay. Now if you see, we have 1500 common, and um, we do have point, that is half of 1500, so 750, right? Now in this particular term, we do have half of this, so we could take that common. So let me mark the parts which are common to us. So which is this one, right? This is common. We have minus 0 0.5 here. And then we have 1500 into 
e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t right so that is common plus we do have this factor 1 plus 3 times e to the power of minus 2 t so this is one of the factors the inside term is also common so we'll take all these things common that means when you multiply this by that it becomes positive here right it becomes positive here so what we will do is we'll take a negative of this common so we say negative 750 why 750 half of 1500 half of 1500 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t times 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 so all this is common. We are left with from the first term the factor 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t. Correct? So that takes care of the first term. In the second term we have already taken all this common. We are left with 2 times 3 is 6. Since we took minus this minus times minus is plus. So we have to write minus here. And we get 3 times 2 is 6. And we are left with e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t right so that is what we get here now we can combine these terms so we get what we get minus 750 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t into 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t that is this part and within brackets we get 1 3 minus 6 is minus 6 minus 3 so 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t divided by 1 plus 3 uh, e, so this could have cancelled right so this I could have cancelled anyway we'll do it next time 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t to the power of 4 perfect now as I was saying we could cancel one of these factors this becomes 3 right so so what we get finally as uh, this could be written as equals to minus 750 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t and within brackets we have 1 minus 3 times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t divided by 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t everything to the power of 3 right 1 power cancel so that is what our second derivative is. We need to find when does the population growth rate begins to decline. So a point where population growth rate, the second derivative, changes from increasing to decreasing is the point, right? Now, if you analyze the second derivative, now this part cannot be zero, but that part could be zero. So we see that second derivative e equals to zero implies what? implies that 3 times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t e to the power of I mean 3 times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t should be equal to 1 so if that is equals to 0 uh, 1 then the second derivative is 0 so that becomes a critical point you get the idea so let us solve for the value of t when this part is 1 correct so this part is 1 so we can solve taking ln right on both the sides ln is log to the base e so that is what we are going to do now so from here we can say that if e is equals e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t is equals to 1 over 3 right so if I take ln on both sides let me do it here now okay so we'll continue uh, I want to use a different ink since gets mixed up with those so we are trying to analyze the second derivative taking ln on both sides we get minus 0 0.5 t equals to ln 1 over 3 right so that gives us the value of t as equals to ln 1 over 3 divided by minus 0 0.5 let's use the calculator to find the answer so we have negative of ln within brackets 1 divided by 3 bracket close and uh, well there are two brackets there so let me two okay equals to divided by uh, within uh, 0.5 with divided by 0.5 
that gives us 2.19. So, so we get T equals to 2.19. Let me write this as 2.2. So we have a critical point 2.2, right? So for 2.2, we find that the second derivative is 0. So that gives us T equals to 2.2, right? And 2.2 is in months. Now the idea is to check both sides of the function for 2.2. So what we will do now is we'll analyze the second derivative. We have the critical number and that is 2.2 approximately, right? So 2.2 we are checking, I mean second derivative which is p, second derivative on both sides. We can take months as uh, 1 and 3 for example. So that becomes our test points. So we'll use 1 and 3 in our expression for the second derivative and see whether it is positive or negative. As you can check, denominator is always positive, right? So, so you can check here that since 1 plus something q, so the denominator is positive. So this is always positive for whatever value. Now we have to check for these two. Here we have minus. So that minus really indicates that the first term is going to be negative since this exponential function is always positive, right? So the first term is negative, denominator is positive. So, so what we have here is negative here, right? Positive in the denominator, right? So, so we'll test what is this value for the test point, correct? So that is the basic. So let us test the value. So we'll now write down what is this value? Is it negative or positive? 1 minus that term, right? So we have 1 minus 3 times e to the power of minus, so let me put it in brackets, uh, minus 0.5. Since we are checking first for test point t, right? So, so bracket close. Uh, well, there was no need to close this bracket. Okay as expected. Okay, so let's do it again. So what we have here is we have 1 minus 3 times second function e to the power of within brackets minus 0.5 bracket close equals to. So this value is negative for us, right? Since this value is negative, we know this is negative, negative and positive. So all of them combined together will result into positive, correct? So we have, in general, positive value. So positive means increasing. Increasing means, increasing means concave up. So the shape of the graph is going to be concave up. We are analyzing second derivative. Now let's try with three. So if I write three here, it becomes minus 1.5. So I'll write 1.5, right? So we'll do one minus three times e to the power of within bracket negative 1.5 1.5 5 times 3 okay 1.5 is equal to positive value right so we got this value positive we know this value is negative right so divided by this is positive so that results in a negative value is that okay and negative means downwards so there is a change in concavity and you can see here that the second derivative changes from being positive to negative and that means it starts declining at t equals to 2.2 right now that's the result so so we can write on our answer that at t equals to 2.2 months after 2.2 months the population growth rate begins to decline so it changes its concavity that means the population growth rate begins to decline. So that is how we have answered. Now as an exercise, I'd like you to go through these videos once again and sketch the function p of t 1000 over 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 2. Uh, you should be expecting a graph which will kind of look like this. So, so I'm not writing any values here, but I'm just showing the concave up as shown here and then here after it be like concave down and it kind of flattens, right? So it will flatten to the maximum capacity which is definitely uh, 1000 for you, right? So it will flatten to 1000 
right? And this point where the concavity is changing, which is approximately 2.2, and this is time in months, right? Concavity changes, and we also found some values for 2, we got some value, right? Uh, well, so you can substitute 1, 2, 3 and get some points. Initial value we found it was 250, right? Starting with 250, that is number of fishes, right? Number of fish. So I hope you understand and appreciate the concept of working with exponential functions. So what we have learned here is that how to find value of the function at different points, how to find derivative and second derivative, and uh, understand a real life situation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.